two points so far. Early attack by Hart. John Cahoon on the swivel here. And a fine save by Cammy Duncan. Gary Mackay, the Hearts captain, picking out the right fullback, Walter Kidd. Wayne Foster going up and challenging Cammy Duncan late then. Duncan on the ground. It was Walter Kidd's cross on the right side. And certainly a late hit by Foster on Duncan. Well, Steve Kirk, the Motherwell striker, goes in to goal. A corner kick to Hearts on the left side, taken by Gary Mackay. Mike Galloway with a chance to shoot here. The header going over. Steve Kirk, the goalkeeper. Cammy Duncan disappearing down the tunnel. The end of the game for him. Hearts trying to step up the pace. Wayne Foster surging down the right side. Foster's cross. Kirk coming out. The ball spilling behind. Tough test for Motherwell now with the stand-in goalkeeper. Here's John Cahoon for Hearts. And the header there by Foster. Great tip over by Steve Kirk. Brian Whitaker, the Hearts central defender, trying to mount an attack. Walter Kidd, the fullback, linking with Gary Mackay. Kidd making the run down the right. Alan Moore's on hand to give Hearts the lead. That's Moore's second goal of the season with just three minutes left to go in the half. Hearts looking for goal number two now, Gary Mackay. Square ball to Brian Whitaker. Need passing movements here by Hearts. That's the plucky Motherwell side. Fraser Wishart there seemed to handle the ball, and indeed, the referee, Mr. Patterson, points to the spot. So Steve Kirk will now have to face a penalty kick. Wayne Foster is two for two from the spot this season. But what a great save by Kirk. And that keeps Motherwell in the game. Into the second half, Hart still leading by one to nil. Neil Berry doing well to keep the ball in play. This is Gary Mackay. Berry has made the run down the left side. Awkward ball for Kirk to take, but he coped with it well. Dave McPherson, the hard centre back. And Craig Patterson penalised a free kick to Hearts. Steve Kirk positioning his wall. Gary Mackay's touch on to Kenny Black. He took a deflection and just dipped over the top. Hearts building from the right side with John Cahoon. Weaving his way past the Motherwell defenders. Cahoon getting the break of the ball. And John Cahoon with a cross. Neil Berry's header. And Alan Moore. That's Moore's second goal. And it's 2-0 for Hearts. Seven minutes played in the second half. And things going perfectly for the Tynecastle men. Motherwell with Paul Kinnear, the former Dundee United man. Arch trying to get the ball away, but a mistake there by Gary Mackay. And Cowan with a header off the crossbar. Still the chances on. Farningham. Ray Farningham pulls the deficit back to 2 1. That's Farningham's second goal in two weeks. And Motherwell still in with a chance. Tommy Boyd making a run down the right. He was pushed by Kenny Black. Black doesn't like the decision, but a free kick to Motherwell. Kinnaird with it. Craig Patterson with a header, and the game is tied. Craig Patterson, the Motherwell defender, with the vital header. Motherwell back on level terms. Beautiful free kick by Kinnaird. Patterson was unmarked, and it's 2-2. And that goal due reward for a lot of hard work on the part of Motherwell. Patterson covering at the back. John Cahoon with the illegal challenge. Cahoon penalising, clearly doesn't like the decision. He's booked for protesting. Ian Ferguson, the hard substitute, making his way onto the field. But in fact, that substitution took place illegally without the authority of the match referee. 
So Ferguson and Ian Jordan, the other substitute, told to go back to the touchline. Meanwhile, the referee goes over and books Wayne Foster and Gary Mackay, who left the field. Now it's the turn of Ferguson to be booked. Andy McDonald there, the Hearts manager. And also Ian Jordan, both players showed the yellow card. Controversy then in the dying minutes, but still a chance for Hearts to go forward and perhaps snatch a late winner. Ian Jordan, the substitute, lining up the shot, but Steve Kirk, another great save. And Kirk, obviously, the man of the match. Well, when I was at school, I played in goals, and um, when I played for his five, I actually had to go in the goals and play at Hamden. I was actually going to have to play in goals for Murrow when we played Celtic at Hamden, but John Gardner, he got a bad injury to his shoulder, but he managed to carry on. And today, it's been known that if, I've had a go into training, and if any keepers get hurt, I'll take the jersey. But today was totally different. It was nerve-wracking when you go in there. It's, it's OK talking about it, but... A lot of pressure out there, but you did look as if you were enjoying yourself. Well, when I went in the goals, I said to Craigie, Craigie Patterson, if any crosses come in, just to go and win them. Because I wasn't really confident of coming for them. But as the game went on, I got a bit more confident, and I came out in four or five yards for crosses. And made a few good catches, but... And to yeah. save a penalty in your first game as goalkeeper, it's not bad going, is it? Well, when Wayne Forster stepped up, I'd seen him taking one in Ireland in the European tie, and he put it up to my left, so I said, I'll go that way. So, made a good save. 